Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It's January 24th, and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. The DuPage National Bank in Chicago was recently closed, making it the first bank closure of 2014. The National Association of Realtors says sales of existing homes increased by 9.1% last year to 5.09 million in 2013, putting them at their highest level since 2006. Freddie Mac reported fixed rate mortgage rates decreased again for the second week in a row, with 30-year rates now at 4.39% and 15-year rates at 3.44%. FHFA announced this week that prices rose only 0.1% from October to November, the slowest monthly gain in two years. Chief economist of Zillow says prices were driven up by tight inventory and improving employment, and that the market will slow as housing becomes less affordable. Ding, ding. <laughs> he says that we're in the middle innings of an incredible run. Well, in California, those incredible runs are pretty incredible, and just because affordability is going down doesn't mean that the market can't accelerate and it won't be extremely exciting. So. Ignore some of the media. The House Financial Services Committee got together last week to talk about the new CFPB policies around mortgages, which many in the industry just don't like. The CFPB's goal was to get back to no-nonsense uh, financing, but many are complaining that the people who get hurt the most include the low, uh, low to moderate income borrowers. If banks aren't making loans, they go out of business. Refinancing has really come to a halt, and the same rules meant to protect people are so strict that some say it underserves a huge portion of the population. Will this mean it's time to go back to the drawing board on a law that took eight years from the creation of Dodd-Frank to actually put through, or will non-conforming and private loans take the lead and explode in the coming couple years? We won't know, but we'll see in the next couple years. Realty Track says that more people purchased distressed properties in 2013 compared to 2012, despite the drop in foreclosures, which is actually a pretty interesting statistic. 16.2% of homes sold last year were foreclosures or distressed properties, and that was up from 14.5% in 2012. 7.3% of all homes went to investors in 2013 compared to 5.1% in 2012, and year-over-year -year home sales increased 10% nationwide. That's it for the headlines today, but of course, there are many more headlines on our blog at the norrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got Carrie Pierce. He's with Provident Funding and an expert in the finance and mortgage space, talking with us a little bit about these new CFPB rules and how that's changing the market. January 30th, we're going to be in Los Angeles at the California Mortgage Association talking about the real estate economy at their conference. February 1st, it's, we are going to be doing our first real estate and tax strategies brunch with uh, Udirect IRA and Keystone CPA, but it's sold out. Don't worry, we've got another one coming up a little bit later this year. Keep your eye out on the calendar for that. February 4th, we're going to be doing Secrets to Becoming Wealthy at OC Phoebe. February 4th, we're going to be doing our property buying boot camp where we take you in our office for three full days, but that is also almost sold out, but information is still available on the website. March 13th, we're going to be doing Secrets to Becoming Wealthy one more time at OC Ria. So we're spending a lot of time in Orange County. So for all you Orange County people out there, hopefully we'll get to see you. Um, with, for more information about all five of our hard money lending programs, from fix and flip to buy and hold to new construction, check out thenorrisgroup.com. For information on becoming a passive trustee investor, check out tngtrustees.com. And with that, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.